Good morning, Demolisha. It's good to see you. <sighs> it's been a weird week. It's been a sad week. For those who watched the last video, um, you know why. For those who didn't, I lost one of my close friends and a guy who's been on the channel a lot. And uh, it was just a sudden, tragic, sad deal. And uh, he had a wife and two kids. And I made a video. Well, I just started watching <coughs> old videos of him because I just missed him. I wanted to watch videos and I thought, oh, man, I should, I should make a video out of all these old clips. And I thought you guys might want to see it. I thought it'd be a good way to kind of highlight how fun he was. But I also wanted to shout out the fundraiser, the GoFundMe. And I was hoping that by shouting it out, the Demolisha would double it. It was at $41,000 when we made the video. And Demolisha, <laughs> you like quadrupled it. Almost. It is at 100, it's almost at $150,000 when I'm filming this video, which is crazy. I mean, that that's going to give the family so much more peace, knowing that for a while they're not going to have to think about money. They're going to have to deal with all the emotional stuff, all the, the worries of raising kids without a dad, and all the worries of raising kids without a husband. But money, at least for a little while, is not an issue. So first off in this video, I want to say, Demolisha, thank you. Um, a lot of generous people out there, and uh, it was just, it was really cool, really heartwarming to see that, like, we have such a good group here, and I can just come to you and say, hey, man, there's a big need, and you guys say, we got you. So, Demolisha, thank you. Um, in other news, a little more happy news, sort of, I, I just kind of missed Demolition Ranch rolling over 7 million subscribers, just because... There's just a lot of stuff going on, so I wanted to say thank you guys for 7 million subscribers. It's really hard to celebrate something at a time like this, but it is cool. It's an awesome milestone, and thank you guys. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff, like, I feel like I need to catch up on the house. Uh, I launched the house video, and I was hoping it would be well received. You know, we get like a million views or something. Yeah, it's about to hit 5 million. By the time this video uploads, it probably will be at 5 million views, which is insane. So, especially for this channel. You know, if Demolition Ranch getting a 5 million view video, is it's not a big deal. We do that. But this channel getting 5 million views shows me that you guys are really excited about the house build, which I am pumped about because I am really excited about it. And I was worried you would not be. And I would be, like, going in all in on this house and doing all this stuff and, like, Kind of, kind of directing the channel in that direction for a while, because it's obviously going to take a lot of work and a lot of videos. And you guys would be like, Matt, we don't want to watch house builds. But apparently that's not the case. You guys are very interested in house builds, which is good, because that was pretty much all we were going to be doing for a long time. Um, I did film another video already, but I filmed it before Jake passed away. And so I just didn't feel like it was the right time to upload that video. Um, and I wanted to come back and say something to you and kind of have a, a getting back in the swing of things kind of video like this before I upload that video of me bouncing around and being all fun and everything. And I was like, man, it just doesn't feel right yet. So I'm going to try my best to bounce around and be fun in this video. Um, right now, it's not really happening because it's 530 in the morning. Uh, but later, maybe I'll be bouncy. And then the next video, I'll launch the video that I already filmed the house. The first, the day one video of us working on the house. It's already happened and it was awesome. You're gonna love it. But for now, I am up really early because I have work to do. What else do I need? Probably, probably could take both of those. One sec, let me gather some things and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I got all that stuff back, the tools and everything. Let me show you why I need the tools and everything. In my mind, I remember this pile looking much more impressive. Uh, we have a whole solar system. We're converting the new abandoned mansion to solar in it. Just kidding, we're not. We're uh, actually, I just, I'm really interested in solar energy. I just don't have any idea how to do it. So I ordered a small kit and I, today, am going to install it on one of the big containers 
at the bunker and put lights up there and have it all solar, have a solar powered shipping container. I hope at the end of the stay, we'll find out. I, I, I think, I think I have bought everything I need to make a solar powered shipping container. And that's my game plan today. And that's why I'm up early because once the sun hits the top of that shipping container, it gets super hot. So I would like to get stuff done fairly early. Dang, that's pretty. God, look at that. <sighs> Another day, sunrise. This is one of my containers. This is my other container. There's big shipping containers and we just ran out of space in the bunker. We're getting some new equipment soon and we needed room just for storage. But the problem is these things are super dark in them. And so we were like, well, we could run power to them, but that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Plus we're moving soon, well not soon, we're moving this year, within the next year. We're gonna be moving locations. And we're like, well, we don't wanna pay all the money to run power and do all that permanent stuff. What if we just did solar power? And so I have this solar panel. I ordered a whole system of uh, Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. I don't know anything about solar. I mean, I've done some research, but I, I'm really not a pro. And so you guys may see me do things wrong today. Uh, if you do, let me know. But this is a 100 watt panel, um, and then we're gonna have wires going in, and it's not mounted, I just, I set it up here. And this, obviously there's no trees around here, so it should get tons of sunlight every day. It should get plenty. And I'll show you what's inside the container. Wires will come in somewhere around there. I gotta figure out where I wanna drill a hole. They'll come down here to this, which is the charge controller, which will charge this, which is the big uh, deep cycle battery, which will then power this, which is our 1500 watt inverter, which has plugs in it, which will be plugged in to these lights. I went ahead and just plugged them into our wall to see if they work. I have a string of four LED four foot shop lights and they run all the way down this container, which you can see is already filling up with stuff. And I just want to see if there was enough light and I think it totally is. It's very bright in here. I need to move and make some room. And these things go all the way down. So I think it'll work. I think, I think. It's the best I got so far. Oh, nice and sunny out here now, which is great because this is hooked up. It's wired. It's not actually, I'm not anywhere near being done. Solar panel is wired and getting sun. And then it goes in here through this and comes in right here down to the charge controller. And then charge controller goes over here and charges our battery. And you can see it has a blinking light saying that there's power coming from the solar panel to the battery. Oh, the battery's smiling. How cute is that? I think that tells us how full it is too. So it looks like we have a full battery, which makes sense, it's a brand new battery. And then it says nothing is going out to our lights yet, which is true. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Uh, okay, let's turn that on. Oh, nothing exploded. Lights aren't on yet, but if I flip that switch, lights still aren't on. Did I turn this off? What happened? Oh, there we go. All right. So this switch will probably always be on. And this one is where they'll walk in, hit that, it'll turn all the lights. Oh yeah. So these lights right now are running completely off of solar power. How cool is that? You can't really tell I'm that sweaty until you look and see how far down the sweat goes. Oh yeah, pretty much the whole shirt. Okay, it's pretty much done, except for the little final touches of like organizing and stuff. So this thing is bolted down, and you can see our screws coming up through the top of this, which is fine, right? Probably it's not a hazard. 
I don't know. But I'm going to go get some roofing caulk and come and I'm gonna actually take all those screws up, caulk them good, and then screw it all back down and cover it with caulk too, which should keep all water out. It should be a pretty tight seal anyway, just with those self-tapping screws, but I'm gonna cover it in caulk. This is done. Well, this isn't done. I'm gonna still go get bigger bolts put in here because I don't like those self-tapping screws holding that. I want some big bolts holding this up because it's pretty heavy with all that. Everything else is hooked up. This is all hooked up, just how it will be, but I'll go caulk the screws on the top there. I need to get an extension cord that I'll run along here and down to this, and then just tidy up all the wires. Whew. I'll go drink some water. I don't know if you know, but it's noon now, and in Texas, in a metal box like this at noon, in direct sunlight, yeah, it's pretty warm back in that back end. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I don't, I don't get it. Mine. 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 Dang it. Okay, I went ahead and just finished everything without you guys, because it was, it was long. This thing, caulked hooked down. I went and caulked every little thing that's coming up through the roof. This is caulked as well. And then these, where it's mounted to the wall, I put bigger bolts in there and then caulked up the nuts on the outside. Caulked. I, I caulked them up. <laughs> Everything's done in here. Check it out. I'm in the back of the container and I can see stuff. Wow, this is amazing. Everything is good. It looks so professionally done, right, right, right? And then this is all done, got the, that's that's not the most professional thing, but I didn't wanna put any more holes in the roof, I didn't have to, so I put some inside there, and then I got it all hooked down. Everything's hidden back here, and when we wanna leave, flip it, turn it off. I think it's good, I think that's all we need to do. Last year we had backpacks for sale, the most ranch backpacks, and we got new ones in. We had a couple complaints, not many, but a few of the zippers last year weren't totally good, but this year we got really nice ones. So we have black, if you just want a plain one, or we have tan, they have the webbing and everything. They have a bunch of pockets. They got laptop section back here, folders, whatever you wanna put in there. Pockets on pockets on pockets on pockets. And then, you know, you can strap big stuff. You're gonna use this thing for like a camping backpack. Also got the demo ranch patch. It's removable, you can put whatever patch you want on there. They got padding on the back, really nice padding, big wide, uh, what do you call it? Big wide straps, and then they got a strap around your waist and everything buckled, so you can take this thing on a big trip. And we got black, and we got the desert FDE tan color. This looks really good. And if you're interested, we got something else. We have back to school kits for those who are going back to school. Let me show you what we got here. This is uh, just your little binder. Demolition Ranch right there. We got the Demolition Ranch logo. I got the caulk all over my hands. And then we got three folders. They all come, all of these come in your back to school kit. So three different folders, all demolition ranched out. And then we got a big notebook. Kind of hard to see with the reflections, but demolition ranch notebook. We have your little ear pods here. We have three pencils, demo ranch pencils. That's right, we got an eraser. We've got demo ranch pins and check this out. They light up, no big deal. And a demo ranch ruler. All this stuff right here comes in the back to school kit. If you want a backpack and a back to school kit, you can put them both in your cart and use the code back to, no, backwards for you, to school and you'll get 15% off of this group of stuff. So, link in the description below for all that stuff. I'm pumped because this stuff just came in. I've been waiting to tell you guys about it, but I wanted to wait till we had everything together. So, backpacks, back to school kit, or everything you decide. One more thing, I'm gonna sign this one. So, we are going to throw this kit in with the ones going out today, at the day this video goes live. And so, someone will get some signed folders. Signed by me and sweated on by me, because I'm definitely, yeah, I'm definitely dripping sweat on your folder. So, <laughs> if you get a stinky one, you're welcome. Oh, ow, I just hit my back. The Challenger games, so I told you guys I was gonna be in them, and then I wasn't. Um, and that's just because 
of all the bad stuff that happened last week. We uh, we canceled our trip and everything, and a lot more important things than running in a stupid YouTuber track meet. Um, I was pumped about it. I think I would have done well. And now I have a pair of track spikes that I'll never use, but I used enough that they definitely look used. I went and ran around in the backyard for a little bit, like you saw. So they're definitely used, but I'm like, ugh, I don't know if I can take them back. I'm gonna try to take them back, but I have a feeling they'll be like, uh, it looks like you ran in these. And I'll be like, I did. I did run in them. I'll never run in it. Please take it. Please take my shoes back. What the heck am I going to do with neon green track spikes? So anyway. Uh, also though, I don't know because I wasn't there, but I've watched a couple of the YouTubers videos from the Challenger Games. And in my opinion, it looks like it may have been a bit of a failure. There didn't look like there were that many people there. Like... 300 people or something? We had more people show up to Demolition Day. Does that mean that the Demolition is a bigger, stronger army than all of the other U2 armies put together? I think so. And even if we don't have the numbers, we got the right tools for the job. Just saying. I'm just saying the Demolition is pretty strong. It's been proven over and over again that you guys are just so good, so legit, so solid, and I'm glad to be rolling with a crew like the Demolition. Thank you guys for watching this video. Tomorrow, I'm gonna launch the video that I filmed 10 days ago of us starting to work on the house. It's a really, really cool video. It just wasn't right to release it with all the stuff going on last week. So, there's one little thing that I say in the video. I say like, hey, I've been working out. I'll tell you about it later, and Obviously, I was working out for the Challenger Games, and obviously, it's going to make way less sense putting that video out after the challenge. But there you go. I was working out for the Challenger Games, and anyway, the video is awesome. Be sure to check back tomorrow to see the video. Thanks for watching Off the Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor!